Hello lovelies, it's Grandma Bunny here. Yes, I know, I've got my curlers in, but that's the only time I have to sit down and have a little read with you. Yes, I always like to wear this. It's my special outfit for reading, so I always look the same. It's great, isn't it? So today, and remember the, the words are backwards because I'm looking at the camera backwards, it, we're doing Let's Talk About Teasing. And remember, it's by Joy Berry and illustrations are by John Costanza. So today we're going to talk about teasing. It's not a nice thing to be doing. Yes, I'm back. I'm back in my caravan having a little read. Look, isn't it lovely? Is it nice and bright and sunshiny outside? You can see my chickens over there. But anyway, we'll come back to here so that we can actually see and it's not too bright and shiny. Teasing. Let's see what teasing is. Let's talk about teasing. Oh, just shuffle over, darlings. Will you please help me tie my shoes? I thought you were old enough to tie your own shoes. That's not very nice, is it? You need to be kind. That's a bit judgy, isn't it? Not everybody can tie their shoes. When people annoy you or make fun of you in playful ways, they are teasing you. Hey, Marilyn. Can't even tie her own shoes. That's not very nice. It would make me feel upset and angry. Has anyone ever teased you about the way you look? Those clothes make you look dumb, says the person saying it. Hmm. Who's really being dumb? Not the person wearing the clothes. Has anyone ever teased you about the way you think and feel? Don't tell me you're crying over a silly movie. They used to say that to me all the time. And then I locked them out, so that fixed the problem. It's okay to cry at movies. Has anyone ever teased you about what you say or do? Do you still need those silly training wheels on your bike? That's not very nice. Do you think maybe he can't even ride a bike and he's feeling a bit jealous? Maybe. Has anyone ever teased you about what you like and don't like? Ugh, only a weirdo would eat something like that. Well, they want to come to Grandma Bunny's house and we'll see how it rolls. Mm. Whenever someone teases you, you probably feel frustrated, embarrassed and put down. When someone teases you, you may get upset and become angry. Scott, I'm sick and tired of your teasing me. I can understand how that person would be feeling. It's not very nice to be teased. People who tease often enjoy frustrating and embarrassing others. They enjoy upsetting others. I don't know that they enjoy it. I think they think they enjoy it. Does that make sense? But I don't think they really enjoy it. People who tease others all the time usually don't have a lot of friends. Not proper friends who, who care about them. Thus, you please the person who is teasing you when you become frustrated or upset because it gives them a buzz to be getting a, a kick out of it. Because you're reacting. If you want someone to stop teasing you, you must not become frustrated. I think that's easier said than done. You must not get embarrassed or become upset. Who is able to do that when someone's teasing them? I don't know if I can do that. To make sure that you do not do these things, you must ignore the people who are teasing you 
do not pay attention to what they are saying. That's very difficult, isn't it? And it's okay to get angry and frustrated and upset. If it is hard for you to ignore them, walk away. Now that's a good idea from them. Do not stay around them while they are teasing you. Then hopefully they'll give up, won't they? It is important to treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you do not like it when other people tease you, you should not tease other people. I could make fun of Scott for falling, but I won't because it isn't nice to tease. What would be a better thing to do if you saw your friend fall? Go and check that they're okay. It is best not to talk about things that a person does not want anyone to talk about. You should also not tell another person secrets. Because they're telling you in confidence, aren't they? They are trusting you not to tell their secrets. Hi, Eric. Scott told me that he doesn't like to play with Eric, but I won't say anything because he told me not to tell anyone. That's a good secret keeper. Sometimes we've got to remember there's secrets we shouldn't be keeping. If they're not keeping us safe, we need to tell those secrets. If somebody's hurting us or if somebody is making us unsafe, tell those secrets to somebody that you trust. It is best not to say embarrassing things about another person in front of others. I won't say anything, but I wonder what Scott's friends would think of him if they knew that he still wets the bed sometimes. Well, Grandma Bunny used to wet the bed till she was 13 because she used to dream. See, people will judge me for that. She used to dream that she got up and went to the toilet. And it would only be when Grandma got on the toilet she realised she was still in bed. Do any of you do that? It took a long time for Grandma to get out of her body or stay with her body and stop getting out and going to the toilet and keep her body with her. It is best not to say anything to people that may hurt them. This is the worst haircut I've ever had. That is a terrible haircut, but I won't tell Scott because it will only make him feel worse. That's true, isn't it? Would you say, actually, Scott, that's probably not the best haircut you've ever had? My mum used to say, don't worry, it will grow back. It's just here. Especially when I tried to cut my own fringe and it ended up up here. Anyone done that? Sometimes we make mistakes, but look, my hair grew back. It got a bit grey, but it did grow back. A good rule to remember is if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. If you do this, you may be sure that you will not hurt other people. I really don't like that new shirt, but I'll only hurt Scott's feelings if I say so. So I'm not going to say anything about it. Well, that's a good point. But sometimes I have to say that to my husband, Grandpa Bunny, because he buys the most horrendous things. And I'm not going out with him looking like that. But that's not very nice. And it is a little bit judgy. But you know, Grandma Bunny is a little bit judgy. I'm learning. See, even when you're old, you're still learning. Teasing may hurt someone, so it is best not to do. You're a pretty neat sister. That's nice, isn't it? And on that note, thanks for joining me to talk about teasing. Try and walk away if people are trying to tease you. And remember to keep people's secrets. What else did we learn? That it's, it's best to keep your opinions to yourself if they're not going to make somebody else feel good. If it's about their safety, then it might be a good idea. Like... I don't think you should walk out on that really skinny tree because it's going to break and I don't want you to get hurt. But then that wouldn't be teasing, would it? So my beautiful, beautiful bunnies out in bunny land, 
that's it from Grandma Bunny this week. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you all next time with Let's Talk About Tattling. Bye, bunny babies. <laughs>